left against Blake Lee on Jeskai Control on your right. Cedric Phillips, Patrick Sullivan, round number one to kick things off. Take a look at Todd. Was that? Oh, oh boy. Is that a Sulphur Falls? It is a Sulphur Falls. What is that doing there? Okay. That's unexpected. Is both these players going to keep their opening hand? Ty going to kick things off with the Mighty Skirt Prospector. We'll head over to Blake Lee now. That's a Glacial Fortress. There's a search for his Kanta, an oldie but a goodie. You'll see the hand there for Blake Lee as well with a Dovin's Veto. It's a Fairy Hero of Dominaria, a Narset Part of Reveals, and a Scorching Dragonfire. Goblin Instigator is going to bring a little 1 1 Knucklehead along with it. Skirk Prospector is going to come in for one. And now we're going to get a search for his Kanta trigger. Absorb the draw, planes the play. And this first game here of Magic is very much underway. Goblin Chieftain number two, the draw here for Todd. And there is that Sulphur Falls. So I'm going to see if I can get that deck list here from Todd and see what the heck is going on with a blue splash. You don't see you, that very often. You wouldn't anticipate, you know, counter spells on the sideboard. It had to be something that's like fairly reliable, even if you don't have blue mana. And I just don't know what that kind of card would be. Well, it is counter spells in the sideboard. Three negate and then three copies of Ether Gust here for Todd. Um, the blue splash is being done by Sulphur Falls, Steam Vents, and a card I actually kind of forgot about in a River Glide Pathway. So there you go. Now, I'm not going to call it a free splash, but it is a splash nonetheless. So here's another copy of Goblin Chieftain. That's going to get absorbed. So absolutely not. Skirk Prospector is the follow-up here for Todd. And now here comes some beatdowns here with the little knuckleheads in for three. Blakely's going to fall down to 16. Search for his console will trigger once again. This is a card that we haven't seen a lot of over the past couple of years. Once it rotated out of standard, not a card that's seen a ton of play, but you and I, we've covered a lot of magic, and we know just how powerful Search for his console is. Yeah, it, I mean, left to, you know, if you have basically an infinite timeline that the card takes over the game by itself and even on the shorter turn timelines especially in a spot like this where you know you would really like to find a sweeper or even removal spells your draw steps are pretty polarized uh and if you can if you can drag the game out if you can stabilize this and search for his content is going to be able to win on its own Wily Goblin's going to come down post-combat. Todd right now kind of just hoping that he doesn't run into Wrath of God which is a card that is legal in this format was in one of those remastered products of Memory Dust Serve, but I do know it is legal for these Azorius-based control strategies. I've been torn apart by it a time or two. Now, Todd is in the situation right now, as a Goblins player, where I got five mana. I got land number six in my hand, but I've also got, you know, that little treasure token uh, as well. And I'd like to just draw a Muxus. It's going to be really easy if I just draw a Muxus. Well, also, he can't really hold back at this point because his leftovers, Anderson knows, if he gets hit with a sweeper and holds a 1-1 one, one back in hand, that's not really going to get the job done against his opponent's leftovers. So just playing everything and trying to get the game down as fast as possible, be able to kill as quickly as possible, even if there's some straight removal spells that get chained in. Well, down to five. We're going to commit... Goodbye, little token. See you later, old buddy. Looks like we're just going to sacrifice that to a Skirk Prospector. And now here is that search for his Conta Trigger once again. The hand here for Blake, a little bit weak. Todd looks like he's going to keep that Goblin Chieftain in hand. The draw there is an Anger of the Gods. And there is double red mana there. Yeah, really nice draw. So it's back-to-back -back with the Triome and now Anger. It looks like we're going to go to Teferi. Bold. Absorb is the draw. Untap some lands, but nothing really doing here. Not casting the Inner Gods this turn. I guess thinking, you know what? I can go down to one. Maybe protect myself from something. Now is Todd going to go for it here with the Goblin Chieftain to try to get the job done? Now would be the time, of course. We know that it's clear for takeoff, but Todd doesn't know that. It is. I mean, it's so risky to give your opponent another draw step here, especially with Search for Kanta and Teferi as part of it. I think you just got to try to go for the win here. Yeah, I, <laughs> I like the arrow drag. It's one of those creatures and says, you know what? Screw you, Teferi. I'm not going after you. I'm going after Blakely's face. And boom, game number one goes to Todd Anderson with his blue splash in his Goblins deck. Time to sideboard here for both these players. We will take a look 
and we will see our friends over at Coalesce Apparel and Design. You can save 10% at checkout. We use gift code SZG. Coalesceapparel.shop is the web address, and you'll see their three new shirts released just on Friday uh, as part of their Keeping It 100 Commander Enthused Fall 2020 collection. On the far left is the Gobfather. That one is there for Krinko. In the middle is the Praetorian Man, uh, which is for Atraxa fans. And on the far right is Rock and Royal for you Omnath Locus of Creation Commander fans. And for Commander fans in general, that is the Fall 2020 collection of the Keeping It 100 line for our Commander fans. Colasparrow.shop again. Save 10% at checkout and use gift code SCG. On to game number two, we will go. Todd Anderson, Blake Lee, Goblins versus Is It Control. Take a look at Todd's opening hand. There's Muxus Goblin Grandee. This one looks good enough to me. Blake, again, will be on the player, so we'll see that opening hand here in just a moment and see if he'd like to keep it. And we are about to be underway here in just a moment. It is a very control-heavy hand here for Blake with Narset and Commit. No real great way to interact with creatures just yet. Hoping the draw steps will be kind is Blake Lee. And now there is a Scorching Dragonfire to kind of kick things off as far as interaction is concerned. Yeah, it, it's un, it's tough to keep your head above water against goblins with spot removal spells. They definitely had uh, uh, moments of being useful, but it's really about the anger of the gods, wrath of god, deafening clarity, and type of stuff. There is Goblin Instigator alongside a Skirk Prospector. There is a Red Pathway. You see Magma Spray and Scorching Dragonfire. This is kind of what you mentioned, too, right? We're going to try to do this little one-for-one -one game, and Goblin Instigator kind of exhibits why that's going to be a tough thing to do. That's two goblins in one card. Uh, and this is also a deck that can make a, lot of different, uh, make a lot of different things happen with regards to multiple bodies in one card. Here's Goblin Chieftain. Here come those beatdowns. And now, all of a sudden, the pressure is strong enough that if there's not a Wrath of God here or a Mass Removal spell, like Anger of the Gods, uh, we could see just these creatures maybe just be enough. Ed Anderson pretty happy to lean in here um, because you can bet your opponent would not have used a spot removal spell on something as modest as a 1-1 one -one the previous turn had they had a sweeper lined up. I'm inclined to agree. Three copies of Wrath of God, by the way, uh, in the main deck. Negate's going to take care of that Scorching Dragonfire, and all of a sudden, Blake Lee is down to three, and Ether Gust is not going to be enough to stop these beatdowns, folks. So just like that, I think Todd Anderson is going to win round one. And our first feature match of the day with Old Reliable in the Gobos, Patrick. Yeah, this is uh, no, no combo, no, no Muxus featured in this game. Just uh, one, two, three. Old school <laughs> Goblin King. Yeah. Type of here. <laughs> Getting it done. And this, this Jeskai deck that Blake Lee is playing does have a lot of sweepers as another negate has been drawn. So that's a check mark on this game, almost assuredly. Uh, negate making things very easy. There is a gust on the Goblin Chieftain. Blake Lee is also going to hit the emote on good game. And Todd says, yeah, super good game. Negate that and finish you off. So Todd Anderson is going to win this match over Blake Lee. Two games to zero. Is it Goblins, which is not something we say very often, is going to take care of Jeskai Control. So that takes care of that. Todd Anderson off to a beautiful start here in our Road 